Dawn of the Dead is a 2004 American film directed by Zack Snyder and a remake of the 1978 film of the same name directed by the late great George A. Romero. Watching this today uh, reminds me that Zack Snyder, you know, made some really cool films early on in his career. I know it's hard to look at it that way. It's hard to remember those days, but he did, you know, before he, you know, turned into Michael Bay 2.0. And this was his first feature length film. And, you know, it was such an impressive debut for a, for a filmmaker, I thought at the time and still think. As a cast that really works, you know, not exactly A-listers, but, uh, you know, everyone pulls their weight and uh, I really like these characters. The most known of them all was a uh, consistently awesome veteran tough guy, Ving Rhames, but we also have Sarah Poli, uh, Miki Pfeiffer, Jake Weber, Matt Frewer, and uh, Ty Burrell. They all stand apart from each other and have individual personalities, you know? Like people used to be like. The plot here is very similar to the original film, which is more than fine, you know, but Snyder does add a lot of his own individual touches and, 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 and it really works. I don't think he really captured, you know, the underlying themes that Romero built the film around, like consumerism and human depravity, but there are shades of it. And that's okay, you know? That, that is the beauty of remaking a film. You, you don't have to follow the rules exactly. You have a template to use you know, kind of the way you want to. The plot is built around, you know, we all know, but <laughs> built around a zombie outbreak that wipes out millions of people worldwide, basically overnight. A group of random people end up finding a refuge at a local mall while they try and, you know, come up with some sort of a plan to get out of the zombie-infested city. What can I say? You know, this movie is just... I think it's just so fun. Uh, the zombies are vicious and terrifying and also fast-moving versus, you know, the slower zombies from the early... Uh, or the, the earlier classic zombie films, pretty much all of them. The makeup effects look great and hold up to this day. Uh, like a lot of us, you, you, you may have grown tired of zombie films over the last 10, 15 years. I know I have. I almost avoid them at all costs now. I, I don't think I've seen a zombie movie in over five years, at least a, a new one. But it was this film, along with uh, 28 Days Later from t uh, 2002, I think, it, uh, I think, yeah, 2002, that actually brought the zombie genre well, back from the dead. So unlike a lot of uh, remakes, this one actually had an impact on film and society in general. You know, when this came out, it was it was an exciting time. People were talking about this movie. They were going out to see it. It did very well in the box office. Now for the original film, of course. This is an all-time zombie classic and uh, just a classic film in general. Romero had a much, much smaller budget to work with. And that is, you know, that's an important factor to mention. Um, you know, the older great filmmakers they could do a lot without having a ton of money. With a really good cast led by Ken Forey, uh, special effects by Tom Savini, uh, music by Goblin, it's just, again, all-time classic. The remake has so much going for it, including a few things I forgot to mention, like cameos by Forey and Savini, and uh, a great script uh, from James Gunn. All that said, I'm, I'm, I have to give the edge to the 1978 original. Is it close? Maybe. It might be close. That's how good this remake is. Um, at the very least, it's one of the best remakes of all time and a great film on its own merits. But the question is, which one do you prefer? Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you uh, tomorrow for my ninth video in this series. Uh, we're almost done. I'm only going 13 days, obviously, and uh, then I'm going to slow down my uploading for a while, maybe take a week or two off. Um, but uh, I appreciate you guys for consistently showing up. Cheers, guys. Stay spooky.